There's a reason why Guardian Tales managed to gain 1 million pre-registrations, not to mention it's highly regarded as one of the best mobile games of the year, and in this video you will discover some of the most exciting features you can find in the game. Special thanks goes to Guardian Tales for sponsoring us, so make sure to check it out using the link in the description. One of the first things you will appreciate about Guardian Tales is how laid back the storytelling is. Even though the epic journey starts out with you trying to save the princess, there's a lot of twists and turns, not to mention hilarious encounters, that you will find yourself in. And there are more than 9 worlds you can explore, and each of them actually starts out empty for you to fill the blanks. For example, you could be exploring one of the story stages and find an orc that was beaten up by an ogre, quickly to discover there's a lair not far from the stage you're in, and it gets marked on your map. And you could easily miss this along the way, which means your exploration gets rewarded with additional gameplay missions. Speaking of missions, there's big story stages you can explore that are chock full of puzzles for you to solve, with many of them being optional. And there's a lot of awesome rewards you can get from solving these secrets like unlocking new costumes for your characters, so keep an eye on those rarely out of place bushes that could be hiding a hidden tunnel to one of the costumes. And not all secrets are so straightforward and what makes Guardian Tales really exciting is the originality of many of its puzzles. One good example would be when you're met with a warrior whose head is on fire. You could grab the nearby brazier and move it close to him, ending up with a portable fire that can be taken to the next part of the map and unlock a passage to some rewards. But hidden collectibles and puzzles aren't the only things that make up the story mode. There's a lot of pop culture references and funny encounters that you find in the game, some of the funniest ones being a love story of two ghosts. One of them is dead set, literally, on a duty to guard a powerful relic, and the other ghost has fallen hopelessly in love with him. However, the dutiful ghost will not acknowledge the love he showered with, and it's your task to find a way to make him notice his admirer. And it can't get better than the classic Master Sword reference, but instead of just looking at it, you actually get to use it, and shockingly enough, it shoots out massive lasers that demolish your enemies in sight. And this is just a small sample you get to see in one of the first worlds of the game, and there's plenty more of them to explore. Each of these worlds are different and have various landscapes, not to mention enemy types and puzzles. You also get rewarded with premium currency for completing every stage, and you even get more of it if you can find all the secrets. And of course, one of the things you can use this currency for would be to recruit new heroes to join you. Summoning for heroes in Guardian Tales is an addictive experience and that's because of the way they are obtained. Many times, gacha games will try to explain how you acquire these new heroes in a logical sense that would appeal to the lore of the game, but in here, you literally receive your heroes in a package delivered by a flying drone. And you can even sign off before receiving the goods. And each package will randomly contain the heroes you ordered, each of them placed inside a collector's box. And if you ever spot a white box inside your package, you know you just struck jackpot since these are the rarest heroes in the game. Speaking of heroes, there's currently 60 five of them you can acquire, and the most recent one that got added in the game is the Future Princess. And one of the things that Guardian Tales has also nailed is the uniqueness of a lot of these heroes. For example, going back to Future Princess, what's cool about her is that unlike many traditional RPG games where magic users are fragile, she is actually a powerful tank that can equip a staff and shield on herself. In fact, one of her skills will taunt nearby enemies and they will follow her around, so you can then use her staff and release an energy laser that will damage everyone who will be running straight into it thanks to her taunt. And if the enemies do manage to damage her, her next special ability will trigger, activating time acceleration and increasing her movement, weapon and health regeneration speed. Basically, it's a win-win situation if you can get the attention of your enemies by either disposing of them with giant laser beams or letting them make you more powerful after getting hit. And most importantly, you can have up to 4 heroes in your party, which means you can mix and match everyone's abilities. There's also these things called chain skills that have specific triggers but provide powerful buffs and attacks, and finding the best party to utilize these skills will be an exciting part of the gameplay. Besides the story missions and collecting heroes, there are also other activities you can do in the game. One of the first things you'll unlock as you progress will be the tower mode. Each floor of the tower mode features different enemy compositions and bringing the right heroes and weapons to the battle will be the deciding factor. As you can see from here, Future Princess is already putting her skills into work and this can be a great place to test out the capabilities of your party. There's also a lot of different daily missions and modes you can partake in from the rift mode. You will find some interesting stages like gathering shards for your hero powers to awaken, but unlike what you would expect, you're put into the middle of a street to wreck some cars while a crowd of people are cheering you on. And there's many more things left for you to discover, like the guild system, arena mode where you can either fight players live or asynchronously, and you can even get your own little floating castle with buildings and people to oversee. So there are many ways for you to generate wealth, whether you will be challenging your opponents in the arena or finding every hidden secret in the game, Guardian Tales has got you covered with many side activities you can join. 
There's a lot to love about Guardian Tales. It was one of the biggest smash hits this summer and it's easy to see why. From exploring the world full of secrets and funny encounters, to smashing cards in order to power up your heroes, there's just so many awesome things left for the player to discover. So if you still haven't done already, we highly recommend for you to check out Guardian Tales by using the link in the description. And even though this is a sponsored video, we believe Guardian Tales deserves all the praise it's been getting since it truly cares about delivering quality content. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to gently press the like button and let us know in the comments what's your your favorite thing about Guardian Tales. And as mentioned before, don't forget to check out Guardian Tales by using the link in the description. Thank you for your support and watching us.